All right, good evening. Our lesson from today was a lesson in linear perspective. If you look on the uh, WordPress blog site that I have uh, posted up for the course, you can follow the links on that to get a whole general overview of linear perspective. So what I'm going to do right now is just go ahead and dive right into the actual assignments that we did here in class today. So uh, as a basic introduction into the assignments, uh, there are two basic types of linear perspective that we primarily worked with today. The first is what we call one point perspective. So to go over some of the basics here of perspective, in the type of drawing that we're doing today, we're not actually observing objects and drawing from them. What we're doing is creating the illusion of three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional surface in just sort of an abstract fashion. So a couple of things to establish right off the bat. First off, you can see right through here, I have a line that's drawn horizontally all the way across the page that I'm drawing on. This is what's called the horizon line. The horizon line corresponds to the eye level of the viewer who's looking at the scene. For the purposes of what we're doing here today, however, the horizon line is just a line that's drawn uh, directly across the middle of this page. In one point perspective, we will draw a point at any location along this horizon line. So in this case, I've got a little point that I've drawn right over here. This is what we call a vanishing point. To do a one point perspective drawing, the basic object that we're going to use for this is a cube or a rectangular box. So a one point perspective drawing assumes the following, that you have a square or a rectangle as one of the planes of a cube facing you. This line is parallel with the horizon line. The sides of this are at a 90 degree angle to that horizon line. The vanishing point that I've established over here means that this, uh, since it's to the left of this box, means that the box is to the right of the vanishing point. So what I'm going to do here is draw lines from each of the corners, corner number one, corner number two, corner number three, back to the vanishing point. The lines that extend from this rectangle back to the vanishing point are lines that we call orthogonals. It's not something that you necessarily need to remember, but I probably will use that term during this demonstration. So again, because this is an imaginary world, I'm not necessarily drawing something that I'm looking at, I'm then going to draw a line at any point along this plane that's receding into the distance a line that, like this line and this line is perpendicular to the horizon line. Draw it all the way in between, connect it up with that, and then across the back from the top of this point, I'm going to draw a horizontal line that is parallel to the horizon line. Now if I come in here with my eraser at this point, and erase out those ortho orthogonals, I have a cube or a box that's drawn in one point perspective. The basic idea with linear perspective in the system that we're working with is that things get smaller from you the further away they are. So in this case, even though if I were to look at this box from the top, top of this box might look like this and the front edge and the back edge are parallel. As this back edge is further away from me in space, it appears to be smaller than the front edge. That's what these two lines here converging towards each other on their way towards meeting at this vanishing point on the horizon line indicate. 